Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there capricorn capricorn sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so for the month of December, I am doing my readings a little bit more differently. And how I am doing this is I am laying out the cards, the tools that I use whenever I do a reading session. And this is how I usually do my readings whenever I do a private session for a client. And um, if you have been with me, the first time I joined YouTube, around 2015 you will know that this is a type of reading that i usually do just laying out the cards and picking up whatever i can um, to the reading that can help you navigate your journey as you venture to the month of for this month december 2019 so it may be specific it might be general for some of you guys um but just do you know that this is still a general reading and it may not necessarily be for your situation itself. And the only way to do that is to get a private session and private reading to your trusted reader, whether it's from me or from someone else. But it is my hopes that this will give you insight and clarity to your situation so that you will know how to navigate the month of December. So um, yeah, without any further ado... Let's get on with the reading, okay? Capricorns. Capricorn. I see here that, you know, I'm picking up various type of Capricorn. So I'm just going to be telling you guys, you know, various situations that I'm picking up and how this can be manifesting for you guys. At one point in time, there are... Uh, certain Capricorns out here that needs to make a decision or maybe they have already made a decision, a very mature one. And maybe this has a lot to do with maybe separating with someone for a meantime. You have a goal. There is something that you want to manifest. And I kind of feel that, you know, I don't know, it feels as if there is something that has happened and it forced you to make a decision to separate for a while from that partner. Whether it's you withdrawing from the relationship or being cold with that person, you know, you don't have to be in a relationship with them. I just kind of feel that, you know, you are a little bit colder with that person one way or another. There is an essence of coldness in the relationship. But it is not as if you are being cold on purpose. You have a reason why that is happening, why you're doing it in that manner. So, um, yeah, I'm getting here that 
this has a lot of maturity. You know, you, you feel that you are making a decision that is very practical, and it's not really an emotional type of decision making. At one point of scenario, this can be a scenario situation wherein you separated from your partner. There was a breakup. And you are now at the healing process and moving on, you know, and just trying to look back on what has happened and what you can learn from the situation. This can also be a, another situation wherein you're trying to not involve the other person into your own personal problems there is a possibility here that maybe you have your own issues, maybe something you do with your career, with your work life, and you don't want to bring your problems to your partner. You don't want to share it. And the re what is happening is that your partner is being left out in the cold or they might assume that something is wrong in the relationship because of your actions. But right now, I kind of feel that you are more focused on yourself. What you need to do? What There's a lot of contemplation that I'm picking up here. So, um, yeah, there are various things here. And oddly enough, though, I'm getting here a lot of success as well. So it's like you're being told by the universe that you can trust this relationship. We do have here the trust card. And oddly enough, what, before I actually started this reading, I was feeling so heavy for some reason. Because whenever I do this reading forecast, I usually channel um, energetically and then lay out the cards. But for some reason, I was not able to press record immediately because I feel so heavy and I kind of feel like I am about to puke up. I was that feeling horrible. So I'm not sure if some of you guys are feeling the same and I'm just picking up the energy. But what I did was, you know, I pick up I pick up a stage and, you know, light it up and swirl it up all over me. And since I had a time, I also did that to my entire room. So this can be a scenario where you might need to wrap things up. Clear things out. Because the sage is very protective as well. And it usually can remove negative energies in place. So I kind of feel that, you know, if you have a problem, a personal problem that is not related to love, not related to the relationship itself, nothing is ever going to happen by keeping that problem to yourself. I feel that, you know, your partner, your person is waiting for you to talk to them. You can trust them. In fact, they are mature. Even though that, you know, you might say that they are younger than you and maybe they don't know what you're going through, it is quite possible that they can give you a sound advice that can help you into your situation. I honestly don't see anything bad going on into your relationship. In fact, it can be quite, um, I'm not going to say boring, but it has that energy. There is dullness that I'm picking up here. And the reason for that is elsewhere, not really inside the relationship. So communication is going to be a big factor here. Even if you are, especially if you are in a long distance relationship, because we have the stars here and the birds. So also with the moon card here, maybe, you know, you need to talk to someone, an extra, so that there is no confusion, no um, miscommunication, no misunderstandings that will be developed as a whole. We are having here the fourth house. 
Mars in the sign of Aries in the fourth house. And the fourth house is our private life, our emotions as a whole. So there could be some form of turbulence or a sense of feeling restless uneasiness in terms of your emotions, in terms of what's happening to you on a personal level. It could be something to do with your home as well. Or, you know, for some of you guys, it may have a lot to do with your emotions into a relationship that probably is not working in the way that you want things to be and you're just keeping it inside of you. And what I'm getting here right now is you need to communicate, you need to talk things out. Talking is a big thing that I've noticed happening for... Um, Almost all the signs for December 2019. And even if not for the forecast, I really believe that communication is a big factor in terms of relationships itself. But um, yeah, I kind of feel that a lot of you guys are so used to being with yourself. Maybe you have been single for such a long time. You are not really comfortable of giving your trust to someone else so now that you are in this type of relationship you are so used to not sharing not showing that you are vulnerable but i'm getting here that there is some form of real love here that person loves you a lot and they can help you even on the practical things in life So, you know, I kind of feel that this is a time wherein you need to go to a more traditional pursuit wherein you should and you can rely to your partner. It takes two to tango, like they say. So a relationship can really be in full development, full maturity, and a can have a stronger bond than ever when there is trust between two people. And this is really the biggest message here. You need to talk to that person. There could be, you know, sudden things that is going to show up in your life that is going to um, manifest the situation. I'm really getting here that for some of you as well that, you know, you are thinking of something that is not really happening in reality as well. So I'm not sure if you are just overthinking a lot of things and complicating issues. But I kind of feel that you should avoid focusing too much on yourself and i'm not saying it focusing on loving yourself i'm not saying it like that it's like you're focusing on yourself to the point where in you are in a relationship or you have someone that you can talk to but you are choosing not to talk to them it's like i rely on myself i have always relied on myself and i don't need anyone to you know to assure me on things because i feel that they are going to hurt me. There is that form of energy and I want to tell you guys that, you know, you can trust this person. They may seem like they don't care or they don't give a fuck about you, but they actually do. This can also manifest wherein, you know, you might have already broken up with someone and you're now waiting if someone is going to come along in your life. Or maybe you have been waiting to have someone enter your life all this time and nothing is really happening. And you're started you're starting to to feel negative about that. But it is showing us here that someone is actually about to enter your life. It may not be exactly within the month of December. But with this King of Pentacles as the outcome card, it is showing us that this person is definitely going to be entering your life very soon. Especially when it is showing in the future position, it means that this person, someone responsible, someone 
that can really provide and care for you is going to show up in your life. And very interestingly, we have here all Archangel Michael cards. This is from the Archangel Michael deck. And I, I usually have a box that includes a lot of Oracle cards. So I just pick things in random right there. And this is the first time that, you know, it showed up all in the same deck. So Archangel Michael is like a healer, someone that removes negativity, protects you, and helps you with your endeavors. It's like the all-purpose all, all type of angel kind of thing and we have here the eternal love the person you're asking about is trustworthy and god is in charge so this is like telling us that you know you don't need to be worried about anything at all and everything is going to be happening in the way that they should at their at the right time at the right place divine timing is about to take place it is not going to take place exactly on December but it is about to take its place maybe at the end of December or you know onwards to 2020 who knows but we are being shown here that you know you need to let go of the negative things that are bothering you what is creating some form of heaviness in you you need to let that go and to let God work his magic into your situation, you know? And like I said, this is a love reading, but there is a mixture here of personal issues involved that you might be working at this time. So there is definitely good news entering your life, but right now, just focus on removing things that are not good in your system not good in your energy field and this can be you know energetically as well maybe there are psychic attacks or maybe you have been too stressed you are carrying a whole life burden in you you need to unwind and relax a bit Clear it out, meditate, have a energy healing session. If you believe in that, that can really help. And know that something is out there for you that can make you feel better. You know, something is going to be happening that can give you a sense of ease a sense of success to be experienced in your life. Especially in terms of business and career, I do see this very strongly that there is going to be success. So if that is your worry, you do know that you will have a green light this December 2019. So um, yeah, trust is a big thing. And if you cannot do it alone, remember that there is someone out there who can help you. And all you need to do is to speak up and talk to them seek their help and they will help you in fact they could be waiting for you as well so don't try to close anyone out thinking that they cannot help you because that is just a pessimistic way on how you do things they can help you all you need to do is to trust them a little bit one step at a time so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that this has given you clarity and insight to your situation and if you'd like a more personal and private session with me to take a look on your personal situation you can do that by going to my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next year